we're back. It's time for Weather for Weather Geeks on this Monday evening. It's the 25th day of September, and well, I'll tell you, we're paying the price a little bit here after a stretch of really nice weather last week. Not so nice over the last couple of days, and this will be the case for the next couple of days as well, taking us into midweek. Now, Sunday was our coolest day in over three months uh, with a high of only 66. We did a little bit better today. Back to average at 71 this afternoon, but yeah, after stringing together four warmer than average days at the uh, second during the second half of last week and the start of the weekend, it's definitely been a little bit of a change over the last two days and a change that will continue as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday. Time lapse uh, from our Canfield Fairgrounds camera showing the strato cumulus clouds overhead most of the day today. These clouds yielded a little drizzle and some sprinkles for a time this morning, largely unproductive, those clouds for this afternoon. Now, as we transition into the evening, it's going to be possible a spritz, a sprinkle, or a little drizzle occurs here and there. Might have to flip on the wipers here and there. Otherwise, just a lot of clouds for the rest of the night tonight. So, yeah, what you see is what you get for the rest of the evening and into the overnight as well. Our weather unsettled for the next few days thanks to a, a stalled front nearby and also this cutoff area of low pressure. Real easy to find on the water vapor imagery this evening. This cutoff low, it's cut off from the jet stream. It missed its ride, so it's not going to go anywhere in a hurry. And as long as it's just meandering through the upper Midwest and then eventually the lower Great Lakes, our weather will be a little bit on the unsettled side. All right, so we have some decent color starting to pop on some of our local trees, depending on what kind of trees they are, what direction they face, and that sort of thing. Of course, we're still a few weeks away at least from our peak colors around here. We're getting high colors, though, in northern parts of uh, Wisconsin, the UP of Michigan, and that process will, of course, continue for the next couple of weeks. Uh, the reason for leaves changing color, yeah, it's chemistry. Uh, chlorophyll, it's what gives uh, leaves their green color. But as we lose daylight and lose the amount of sunlight that those leaves are picking up, the chlorophyll starts to be depleted, and that results in other colors being allowed to show up. Your reds, your oranges, your yellows, um, instead of the green. So that's you know a little bit of a science lesson behind uh, the reason for the uh, color change during September and October. All right, tomorrow is the what we call the Equilux. We had the Equinox a couple of days ago, Saturday morning. Autumn officially began in the Northern Hemisphere at about 2.50 a.m. But because of our latitude and kind of the different ways in which we officially measure sunrise and sunset, we actually don't have exactly equal day and night on the Equinox. That day occurs a few days after the Equinox in September and a few days before the Equinox in March. At this time of the year, it's usually around the 25th or 26th of September. So tomorrow, the 26th, our sun will rise at 7.13 and set at 7.13, giving us almost exactly 12 hours worth of daylight. All right, and we're not going to see a lot of sun during the daylight hours on our Tuesday. Some breaks here and there. Clouds will win the battle for a, 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 fair, a fair amount of the day. Best chance for a spritz or a little drizzle first thing in the morning. Most of the day should be rain-free. Same idea Wednesday. A lot of Wednesday will be dry. In fact, the sun may try to come out, especially in western PA, as we get into the afternoon on Wednesday. But that'll be a temporary thing. I think the clouds will win the battle again by Wednesday night, heading into Thursday. And that'll actually set the stage for our most unsettled day of the week, which will be Thursday, because that's when our low finally starts moving more. And as it uh, pushes into the area, pretty unstable atmosphere Thursday. I think showers are going to come and go throughout the uh, day. Probably not any sort of total washout or anything, but that'll be the day that showers will visit with the most frequency over the next few days. But the story as we go into October is going to be the warmth, no doubt. Uh, here's today's CPC, Climate Prediction Center, 6 to 10 day outlook. So basically October 1st through October 5th. And east of the Rockies, it is pretty much a guarantee at this point. Uh, when you see these deep reds, that's pretty much you know, a guarantee that we will see a warmer than average period, uh, including around here, as we flip the calendar to October. Now, I don't think we'll be flirting with records. Um, the records are probably out of reach, but I think we're going to be around 80 at least a couple of times uh, early next week. And the weekend forecast at this point, heading into October, looks really, really nice. I mean, sunshine in abundance, uh, as is typical in late September, early October. Humidity will be a non-story. Just picture-perfect weather coming our way, it looks like, for the weekend and probably early next week. And if you're you know, not real anxious to put on that furnace just yet, you're going to like that medium range forecast. We'll talk more about the medium and longer range in future editions of this very same video this week, same time, same place on all my social media outlets and, of course, on YouTube as well.